After the disgusting scandal from October 2016, when the Access Hollywood tape was released, exposing Donald Trump for the groper that he is, one would think that he'd avoid any references to him grabbing women who are not his wife and kissing them in public. So what did he do during the signing of an executive order demanding free speech for racists and homophobes on college campuses? He grabbed a blonde Ivanka lookalike college student and kissed her in public. Twitter could not have been any more grossed out. It's not as if the young woman had much of an opportunity to say no. What does one do during a public event in the biggest of national spotlights when a groper in chief grabs and kisses you in front of a group of people and an entire press pool? The executive order Trump signed was no less disgusting. After college students across the country have made it clear that they're not interested in the rhetoric of racists and transphobes like Milo Yiannopoulos and Ben Shapiro, Trump insists that they must be allowed to speak on college campuses, places where respect and acceptance for marginalized communities are encouraged and practiced. The same man who believes that Saturday Night Live should be investigated and punished by the Justice Department for daring to make fun of him the same way they have every single president since Richard Nixon made quite a show of his stance on free speech. Of course, he also made a show of being a lecherous, disgusting old man.